Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R and data visualization with R. This will be a three part video. In the first part, I will show how to compute CLD for one way ANOVA and plot that using ggplot2. In the second part, I will show how to compute CLD or compact letter display for two way ANOVA and how to plot on ggplot2. And in the third one, we'll see how to compute CLD for three-way ANOVA and how to plot using ggplot. In this session, we'll see how to apply one-way ANOVA to our data to compare different categories and how to visualize those results using ggplot2 and compact letter display. Let's know about the data which we are going to use and the data is from package Palmer Penguins, library Palmer Penguins, and I have got installed this package on my system. Therefore, the tooltip help is there. I'll go to tools, install packages and type the package name. If you have not installed the package, you have to do this. Select this package name and click install. Package will get installed. And once you install the package, again, come to the library, this function and run that using control enter or pressing the run button. Now the library Palmer Penguins is there in my memory and the functions are available for my work. And data set name is Penguins. We'll see the head of that data and you can see here that different variables are there. First two variables spaces and island are factor variable or categorical variable. Bill length is numeric variable, build depth is numeric, flipper length is numeric, then body mass in grams is numeric variable, sex is again categorical variable and year is integer variable. If you want to mo know more about this, then we can use structure function also, we can use summary functions also. To this data, we'll apply one way ANOVA. To one way ANOVA, to uh, see the difference, to see the effect of uh, categorical vari variable spaces on flipper length. For that, I will get the model object mod and to this object, I will assign AOV function AOV. You can give any name to your model object. Output of AOV will get stored into this model object. The first argument is the formula for this AOV and the formula will be uh, dependent variable first. And uh, that flipper length is the dependent variable. I will copy this name and I will bring that here. Then tilde symbol and after the tilde symbol, I will put the species as the dependent variable and get that here in the formula. Copy. Only one variable is responsible for the differences in flipper length here in one way ANOVA. The data set name is penguins and we'll run that, run the command and model have got uh, computed. Now this model object will see using summary, summary mod and we'll run that. And we can see here that spaces is actually having significant effect on the flipper length of those penguins. Different spaces of penguins have different flipper lengths. That's the conclusion of this test. Now we want to see the pairwise difference also and for that we'll use the 2KHSD test, 2KHSD. And this test take first argument as model which model we want to see the effect of that to key HSD on the model. And we can see here the formula and all those things are given here. 95% familiarized confidence interval level I have applied. And those this has been calculated also. We can see here that chin strap Adelie pair has P adjusted value zero means difference is significant. This uh, P value is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, difference is significant. Same is true for chain two. Adelie pair, same is true for Gen2 chin, chin strap pair. Now, in the next step, we'll add CLD or compact letter display or comparative letter display, those displays to this. Here, we can see that all these three pairs are different from each other. Therefore, each of these Adelie, uh, Gen2 and chin strap will have different letters because th those are not uh, same to each other. Those are different than each other. Therefore, those letters will be different and we require special packages to get the CLD. The first package is EM means library EM means and if you have not installed this package, go to tools and click install packages and type in package name there. 
click this and uh, click install package will get installed and after installation run this uh, function library em means next package will require is uh, package uh, multcomp i have typed that function library multcomp and i have installed this package if you have not installed again you can install through tools and i will run this library em multcomp now i am ready to calculate summary statistics first and then cld in the next step i will save the object as name em min assign to it the output of this function em means em means from em means package the first object is the model model and now the specification specs is equal to the categorical variable which is dependent variable in our model that is species we will run that and now we'll see what is there in em min i'm copying this name object name pasting that below and click the control enter or run now uh, summary statistics has been calculated and we can see here for adeli mean flipper length is 190 for chin strap mean flipper length is 196 for gen 2 mean flipper length is 270 217 Uh, standard error is there degree of freedom lower confidence level upper confidence level for 0.95 confidence levels are cal computed out now this to this object will add a new column the column will show the letters according to the similarities or differences of these pairs and as we know that these pairs are different than each other all these three letters will be different now add cld will specify a new object em min underscore cld and to this will add output of the cld function and cld function is coming from multcom package and this cld function takes this em min output of the em means function as the input next is letters otherwise we will get the numbers we'll see what we get by default arguments and this em min cld will run this and we can see 1 2 3 numbers are there we don't want these numbers we want letters therefore the next argument to the cld function will be letters l upper case letters and the option to this argument is uh, letters with lower case l and we'll run that and this uh, upper case lower case please remember otherwise you will get error and it will be difficult to find out the error this object em in cld object now is a data frame with the species em in acdf lower confidence upper confidence level and dot group dot group shows the letters for the comparison between these pairs uh, other information is also given there which method is used for uh, getting these groups this method has used 2k again to this data will uh, plot a bar plot and for that we'll require functions from library ggplot2 i'm calling library ggplot2 again if you have not installed you can install using install packages then the ggplot function and the first argument is the uh, em min cld object em min cld this data set we are going to use to plot the graph this species and em min will be my x and y axis i'll bring those here in the as and we'll put the comma in between now to this we'll add the geom call we'll run this now you can see that these three bars are there to these bars we'll add our error bars geom error bar is the function for that geom error bar the first argument is aesthetic mapping aes and the aes will have y min or lower bound of the error bar y min is equal to em min minus ac standard error bars we will uh, add to the plot y max is equal to em min plus ac and we'll run that y the spelling mistake is there again please bear with my spelling mistakes and that's why those errors are coming and these error bars are there but those are not visible to make those visible we'll change the alpha is equal to 0.5 or we have increased transparency using the alpha argument now error bars are there width of the error bar we have to specify this width is equal to 0.1 i will do or 10th uh, percent of the original width and this is there okay. we can change the size also size is equal to 0.7 to make this error bars little thicker to look at and these error bars are thicker 
Okay, very small error bars are most negligible. I'll bring this on new line. And to this, we have to add the letters of significance or compact letters or comparison letters. Therefore, we'll add those to AES aesthetic against the label aesthetic of plot label is equal to that dot group contain this variable dot group of EM in CLD contain the letters. I have done that and at the end we'll add plus then geom and please remember you have to put this plus at the end of the line not at the beginning of the line we will get error because of that geom text and we'll run that now these letters are there but these letters are overlapping the error bars and overlapping the bars also therefore we'll go for the v just argument v just is equal to minus one so that the letters will be above the bars and we'll run that now the letters are above the bars and those are two above the bars therefore this one we can change to 0 0.5 and we'll see where yeah all the three letters are visible no need of further customization is there just one customization we'll do we'll change the theme to classic and we'll run that now you can see here a good bar plot with error bars and uh, this compact letter display of uh, that applied test ANOVA is there to show differences between these three bars. Yeah. And uh, I will uh, prepare a next part of this video and in that we'll see how to apply two-way ANOVA to the data, get CLD for those two-way ANOVA and plot those CLD values on the bars for those two-way ANOVA test. If you like this video, please click the like button. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. Thanks. Thanks for watching again.